<laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Tim Michael from TimMichaelArts.com. I'm packing. I'm getting ready to go on my trip. I'm leaving tomorrow, 5 o'clock early in the morning. Now, that might not seem early to some of you schoolers, some of you hard workers who wake up early in the morning, but that's early for me. Anyway, um, getting all packed up here, getting ready to uh, disappear for a week. I'm going to be over in Mississippi teaching at a conference, a Christian conference. If you want more information on that, check out my DeviantArt account where you can see my most recent journal entry. And it kind of explains what I'm going to be doing just a little bit more. Let me uh, turn my, down my music here. I actually wrote that song. Um, anyway, I'm packing. And, and the thing that I find about myself is I'm quite the over-excessive packer. So um, I'm only going to be gone a week. But there's my bag, and it's full. And it's about to be fuller. And trying to get all that stuff worked out. And then I have two, three, four, five bags that I'm taking with me, maybe, maybe six. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a couple things real quick, uh, especially about uh, the Cintiq, the Wacom Cintiq, and uh, some stuff like that. Anyway, um, I'll show you that in a second. Anyway, there's my bag with my ultimately huge laptop. There's my Cintiq bag that I'll show you in a second. My other laptop that I'm taking with me, my expensive headphones, batteries, junk like that, and clothes. Alright, that was easy. Um, let's take a look at the Wacom Cintiq here. I got, I, I did research online before I bought this, and I was having the hardest time finding a bag, you know, specifically made for the Cintiq. Because the Cintiq, the Wacom Cintiq that I have, the 12WX, it's a, it's a wide body Cintiq. So I went over to Walmart and I found a 17 inch uh, carrier for laptops. The Swiss gear and my family is really into Swiss gear and um, here's what I wanted to show you though the Cintiq has one individual cable that is very sensitive and I mean you know, not sensitive so much but it's just it feels like a cable that you really don't want to mess with too much so got this zipped open here and here's the Cintiq right here um, and I have the screen facing in in the other pocket I have every kind of cable and thing like that. I'll show you some extra stuff about the Cintiq in a second. But this cable right here, this little guy, houses all of the information for power, for transfer to the computer, from the computer, all that stuff. Um, video, data, everything. So if you mess up that cable, you mess up the Cintiq itself because that's the only wire. It's a very, it's one of those wires, you know how you can pick up a wire and you feel like you can bend it kind of freely? This one you don't feel like you can bend freely. This bag, which is a big bag, um, if you look at how it sits with the zipper, I can't really zip over it so well. I've, I'm almost tempted to cut a hole in the side so that the wire can go through it and keep that not pressed down so tight. No, I'm not doing so good with the camera here. So just be careful with that. Um, if any of you guys are interested in buying a Cintiq, um, here's what you need to know. I got it because I thought it was going to be really portable, but once I actually got it in the mail and took a look at it, well, I didn't buy it. My folks helped me get it. I was going to buy it, um, and I bought this, we bought the smaller one for me because it's more portable and cheaper, and um, as we're looking at it, as I pull it out, there's this. This is the, um, the box that goes with the Wacom. Now, this box... It has the output that goes to the Cintiq, and then if you turn it around here, it's, well, no, that's the output that goes to the Cintiq, I'm sorry, and you can either do DVI or VGA, and I always do VGA. Um, they have a cable that comes with it that takes it and converts um, VGA to, yeah, blah, 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 blah. anyway, um, on the other side here, you have power, you have USB output to the computer so that you can use the tablet portion of the system and then this one's the video portion of the system. You have to have these two in conjunction. They run them separately so it doesn't overpower the processors. Nice thing is it does have some features in here that allow you to change the settings on the Cintiq and stuff like that. But that box is, I have a smaller hand, but that box is about as big as my hand. And then if you think about how many cables are going out of there, you got the Cintiq cable, you got a power cable, you have the power cable box, the suppressor, or whatever you call that thing. Um, and then you have a USB cable. So there's a lot more that goes into this thing than um, 
and then you think. And portability is still good because it's a smaller Cintiq. Um, sorry about the camera, guys. I'm kind of I'm kind of doing this weird, awkward thing here, trying to put this back. But you will still have a lot of wires hanging around after you get everything all set up. Because, I mean, if you think about it realistically, you're going to also plug in um, your computer. You're going to have a power cable for your laptop. You're going to have, you know, the USB going into the laptop. You're going to have other stuff. So it adds up after a while. But anyway, for a bag, for a Wacom Cintiq, 17-inch fits it nice for the wide side of things. But for the height, try and find a taller bag. That way you don't have to worry about that cable bending so much. That's, uh, that's my advice to you there. Anyway, uh, really quickly, me and Chris... Oh, you sweet puppy. Yeah, you sweet puppy. Yeah. Anyway, um, me and Chris are going to be doing some uh, collaborations, hopefully. As I am away, hopefully going to do some uh, funny things that Chris will edit later in video. That way we can kind of liven up the the Tim Michael Arts 2 channel. My personal preference would actually be that Chris would take over the Tim Michael Arts 2 channel, and that would kind of be his channel as the behind-the-scenes producer. Um, and then I'd put in my videos like this every now and then. But personally, I'd like to see him take that over and run with that because you know that his stuff is a lot more funny than my stuff is. You know, I'm more of the teacher and the artist. He's the funny guy, and I'm funny in my comics and stuff like that. I hope. Anyway, um, that's what it comes down to. We want to have some more fun with this channel, and so hopefully we can do that because of this trip. We got cameras. I'm taking underwater cameras. He's got a camera that he's using. He's coming over today to pick up a, a tripod, a gorilla pod. Anyway, I won't bore you with anything else. If you guys want more information, you can check out my DeviantArt account. It's Tim Michael Arts on DeviantArt. Um, you can check out my website, Tim Michael Arts, and that's all you need to know. I'm not going to try and sell anything to you, so you just go ahead and take a look at any of that if you want. If not, you'll see me in the next video, if you love me. I love you guys. God bless, and I will, uh, I will see you later. Pray for me if you're praying peoples, because it's a 10-hour trip. First time I've taken a trip by myself, I purposefully have not invited anybody to go with me, because I want to attempt this on my own. So, yay! Should be fun. All right, God bless you guys. See you later.